YouTube friends family subscribers so let me give you the download I don't know if you've seen my last video but uh, let's just say we we went from the original lockdown in last year April uh, to where I went out in my van it was uh, 220 pounds and it was all about getting jacked and ripped while living out of my van so I did that um, if you go back to my videos you can watch those um, I am in Canada Alberta so come November start getting cold obviously and uh, I had to find an apartment did that and uh, found an apartment downtown and shortly after uh, had a little um, layoff took a break because it was exhausting just to have to go through that transition of being in a cold van for a couple of weeks and then uh, kind of frantically looking for an apartment and then moving in and getting dehydrated and just overtrained in general so I took a week and a half off or so never seems to be enough but uh, you know as a hardcore bodybuilder you just want to get back in there so yeah the gym opened up uh, once they got the go ahead um, to uh, get out of the uh, first wave and uh, I started training at the gym I was making some pretty good gains and I was um, nice and tanned and I was uh, ripped and jacked I was uh, 195 pounds at 5'11 that's an ectomorph frame so going to say that when I first started training fresh out of high school I was I wasn't skinny fat I was I was ripped I was skinny though at 145 pounds so 45 55 65 75 85 95 10 20 34 that's 50 pounds of, of lean muscle on my frame and uh, so I was going pretty good um, trained for about a month really hard and um, then we went into our second wave of uh, COVID lockdown so if you watch my last that's when I made the transition and I started making videos about getting jacked and ripped with home workouts during the during the lockdown so that's what I've been doing and uh Obviously, the gyms are still closed, but I've made do with everything I have. And uh, even though I haven't been able to go as heavy, the intensity level is supremely high. I've made up for it with crazy intensity, which actually left me very sore and fatigued and overtrained. But it was okay because I wasn't working. And uh, I was able to just eat and sleep. So uh, that's what I did. And uh, But then January, end of December, January came around and we went into a polar vortex. Extremely cold, minus 40. And so at that point, um, I wasn't able to do my cardio my weight was climbing up and it doesn't take long uh, to put on uh, 10 pounds and on an ectomorph frame you put on 10 pounds of fat and right away your your midsection is you got a belly doesn't take much but you know it's 10 pounds I got to get off and uh, the abs are back but yeah so um, during that polar vortex, I was just eating, 
sleep and eat and sleep. So you're sleeping so much. I mean, that's what we do when it's that cold. You're not going outside for a leisure walk. You're not working. You're just, there's no sunlight. You're just sleeping. So then, of course, um, you start getting stiff. You don't want to sleep too much because it's what caused by getting bed sores, bedridden. You actually, you're sit your your condition gets worse you start getting stiff and sore and achy and you can put your back out because you're laying for so long so I almost got to that point i was like you know what at the same time i was looking for work and i thought you know what i'm just gonna start stretching warming up my body um the government emergency funds are are gonna end in march i gotta start a new job so of course my last video if you watched it was gonna be all about getting ripped and jacked while working at a full-time job and that's the reality of it for a lot of bodybuilders um just and it's it's not easy um so what i did was i thought okay well i got a call for a new job so i knew it was coming up i had a an interview in a week and I thought okay I'm just gonna take a break I'm gonna let my body recover because when I start working any kind of soreness I get I want to differentiate that it's soreness from the job and not from training I want to tell the difference I don't want to go into the first week of uh, on the job and be sore from my bodybuilding workouts because then I'm not going to be able to understand um, what I'm getting sore from or wrong movements or whatever, what's making me sore from work and what's sore from my past workouts. So I wanted to go into the first week of work fully recovered. So that's what I did. And, you know, obviously now it's like 220 pounds. And uh, so that's a lot of extra weight carrying on the frame, a little bit heavy up front. So it puts strain on the lower back. And, uh, but um, I got through my first week of work I'm um, doing janitorial, so a lot of mopping, okay, going to, driving to different sites, going to office buildings, construction site, clean, clean up, and condos, and uh, up and down stairs, and, and vacuuming, and lugging your vacuum around, and carrying buckets of uh, water, and, and mopping, and, um, you know, putting supplies away, and stuff like that, so um, I had to be careful of my back because I am 45 years old. I slipped a disc uh, in my earlier years in, in uh, two, 2000 and uh, my back's just been a battle for the last 20 years, my lower back. And now because my disc is always kind of out and I'm constantly cracking and adjusting my back, um, I've uh, built up through, through working the last week I built up inflammation going across my lower back. So it just inhibits you uh, bending over and moving because when that inflammation is there, you got to be very careful because your spine is still pretty good, but that inflammation is there. And, and if your spine goes out, you're going to lose it. You're, you're not going to be able to stand up straight. You're going to be dehabilitated. And that has happened to me, and I draw a very fine line there. It's risky, um, and uh, but I got through the week, and uh, I manage, um, but I do got to get my weight down. I, I'm, I'm 220. I plan on being um, ripped, okay, at 200, so that's 10 pounds more muscle than I had during my van life videos, so realistically... Um, a guy can gain 10 pounds of muscle per year. And that's what I've been doing for the past five years. Obviously, I've been training for 30 years. But as a bodybuilder, um, you have different circumstances in life. And you're not always huge. You're not always jacked. You're always a bodybuilder, but you're not always going to be in the best shape of your life. You're going to carry more fat sometimes. Cortisol is going to bring your your stress hormones are going to go up due to 
uh, cortisol and that's going to cause you to uh, your estrogen levels to go up and retain water so you just battle through it it's been 30 years of, of training and bodybuilding um, you got aches and pains you know you deal with it but uh, the thing is is you've dealt with it for a long long time and you know how to deal with it if something comes up or you get a little twerk here or an ache pain there you know what your limits are and you know what you have to do to fix it whether it be ibuprofen um, getting some ice packs on there um, going for light walks you just you just keep going and 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 that's uh that's what makes you a, a hardcore bodybuilder is under every single circumstance that you encounter in life um you keep pushing forward injuries you do the rehab you recover you get back in there you, you don't stop if, if you look at any of the even the pros i mean a lot of them were fortunate enough to to go into their 60s and 70s where um they didn't suffer injuries and you know they're not exactly huge and jacked anymore but they're they're ripped to shreds you know like robbie robinson and and a lot of the old school bodybuilders that are still hanging in there but then you got guys like you know some of the bigger pros that that, that got up and competed in the olympia at 260 pounds you know 300 pounds in the off season and i've seen them train on their videos using extremely heavy weight and pushing themselves hard well they're they're training for prize money endorsements to win the olympia i get it i've trained just as flipping hard and i suffer too but you know you look what happened to ronnie coleman and you look what happened to, to flex wheeler and and dozens of bodybuilders and the hardcore bodybuilders they just they do the rehab doesn't matter you're missing an arm you're missing a leg you're flipping your pec is torn you're still training and it's not about looking pretty when you're in the ma in a master's competition i think i myself think when when you have a master olympia these old guys up there and when you're ripped to shreds and you can see a guy's tricep tear and you can see where there's lack of muscle there or a tear in the pec or or maybe he had surgery on his abs and you see a scar there those to me are are warrior wounds those are battle wounds and, and and that is to me is flipping very respectable and hard flipping core i don't think it takes away from the build at all when you have stretch marks and you got torn muscles and your quad one quad is bigger than the other you are flipping hardcore man you rock in my world you've been given her for 15 20 30 35 years and you're still going at it that's what bodybuilding is that's hardcore bodybuilding just keep going keep doing it out of uh, any circumstance it's it's one thing that you always have control over yeah i hope you like my videos and if you do please show me a like and subscribe you know i'm not about trying to get rich and have thousands of viewers I don't care I'm just this is just an extension of my life that i'm putting out there and uh, the biggest thing i can ask for is a comment and uh, maybe um, bond with a few of you that are watching the videos answer a few questions and you know share a couple of your stories and um, you know let's let's lift each other up uh, keep each other motivated uh, we're all in this together i got your back you got mine, you got mine, I got yours. Let's do this. Yeah. Yep. First day on the job here at uh, Cleaning Command. Just on my lunch break now. It's going pretty damn good. Did a lot of vacuuming today, which is pretty damn easy. I love just vacuuming. It's kind of like a, I just go into a state of meditation. Because that's what I do. I've been doing janitorial for... Uh, 20 years because I am a pro I am a cleaning professional and because so I get the I get free V8 you know perks of the job but yeah first day on the job here it's going pretty damn good